14 Philippine Famous Landmarks in the Philippines Hello and welcome back to, My Wonder List. In this episode, we're taking you on a journey to explore the breathtaking beauty and rich history of the Philippines. Get ready to discover 14 famous landmarks that will leave you in awe. Let's dive right in. If you're looking to travel in the Philippines, then familiarizing yourself with some of the most famous landmarks in the Philippines is a good place to start. These attractions offer a gateway to experiencing the Philippines' rich history and culture. From centuries-old churches and forts to stunning coastal views and lush rainforests, Philippines' landmarks are sure to impress. Here are some of the most famous landmarks in the Philippines that you can visit to enjoy the country. Most Famous Landmark in the Philippines The Rice Terraces of Banawe the Banawe Rice Terraces are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Philippines. The terraces were carved into the mountainside over 2,000 years ago and are still used for rice cultivation today. The area was declared a national cultural treasure by the Philippine government. The Banawe Rice Terraces are in Afugao province and cover some 10,000 square km. It consists of six main terraces that were built over 2,000 years ago by ancestors of the Igorot people who settled near fertile valleys or wet rice fields. The builders used stone tools to carve out these terraces into hillsides. These terraces served multiple purposes. They helped to prevent soil erosion, capture water during the wet season for use during the dry season, and served as a form of irrigation. Malacañan Palace, Manila Malacañan Palace is the official residence and office of the President of the Philippines. The palace is in Manila, on the banks of the Pasig River, the palace complex covers an area of 16 hectares, 40 acres, and is surrounded by gardens. Malacañan Palace was built in 1750 by Spaniard Don Luis Rocha as a summer house. The state purchased the building in 1825 and it became the official governor's residence after an earthquake in 1863 destroyed the initial residence Palacio del Gobernador. The palace is open to the public for tours. And it is also the site of many state events and functions. It is one of the many things the Philippines is known for. Simula Shrine The Simula Shrine is a Catholic church located in Cebu, Philippines. It is known for being the home of the Virgin of the Miraculous Medal, a statue of the Virgin Mary which is said to have miraculous healing powers. The shrine was built in 1977 and is run by the Sisters of St. Paul de Chartres. The Simula Shrine is a popular pilgrimage site for Catholics in the Philippines. It is also one of the most visited tourist attractions in Cebu. Intramuros Intramuros is a walled city in Manila, Philippines. It was originally built by the Spanish in the 16th century and served as the country's capital from 1571 to 1898. The city was destroyed by fire in 1945 but was rebuilt and is now a popular tourist destination. Intramuros is home to many historical landmarks, including the San Agustin Church, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The church was built in 1607 and is one of the oldest standing churches in the Philippines. It is also one of the few remaining examples of Spanish Baroque architecture in the country. Other notable landmarks in Intramuros include Fort Santiago, a 16th-century Spanish fort, and the Manila Cathedral, which is the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Manila. Manila Cathedral The Manila Cathedral, also known as the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, is a Roman Catholic cathedral located in Intramuros, Manila, Philippines. The cathedral is the Episcopal See of the Archbishop of Manila. Manila Cathedral was destroyed by earthquakes several times and was rebuilt each time. The cathedral was again damaged in World War II but was repaired and reopened in 1958. The Manila Cathedral is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the Philippines. Barasoan Church, Bulacan the Barasoan Church is a Roman Catholic church in the town of Barasoan, Bulacan in the Philippines. It is considered one of the most important historical landmarks in the country and has been declared a national historic landmark. The church was built in 1888 and is noted for its neoclassical architecture. The church is also known as Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish Church and is the site of the Philippine Declaration of Independence from Spanish colonial rule in 1896. The document was signed by members of the Malolos Congress, which was convened at the church. Today, the church remains an active place of worship and is a popular tourist destination. Masses are held daily, and visitors can explore the church grounds and learn about its history. Natural Landmarks in the Philippines The Chocolate Hills of Bohol, Bohol The Chocolate Hills of Bohol is a natural tourist attraction in the Philippines. 
There are over 1,200 hills of different sizes located in the province of Bohol. The hills get their name from the interesting fact that they turn brown during the dry season. The Chocolate Hills was declared a National Geological Monument in 1988. The Chocolate Hills are a popular tourist destination for both domestic and foreign visitors. The hills are a part of Bohol Island and are easily accessible from Tagbalaran City, which is the capital city of Bohol. There are a number of tour operators that offer day trips to the Chocolate Hills from Tagbalaran City. The best time to visit the Chocolate Hills is during the dry season, which runs from November to April. During this time, the hills are brown and give off a chocolate-like appearance. The wet season is from May to October and during this time, the hills are green due to the growth of grass. If you're looking for a unique natural landmark to visit in the Philippines, the Chocolate Hills are a great option. Be sure to add them to your list of places to see in the Philippines. Mayan Volcano, Albay Mayan Volcano is located in the province of Albay in the Philippines. It is the most active volcano in the Philippines and has erupted over 50 times in the past 500 years. The most recent eruption occurred on January 23, 2018. The volcano is popular with tourists and has a number of tourist attractions, including its perfect cone shape. The volcano is also a popular subject of paintings and photographs. Tubataha Reefs Natural Park, Sulu Sea The Tubataha Reefs Natural Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the Sulu Sea. It is made up of two atolls, the North Atoll and the South Atoll. The park is known for its crystal clear waters and its coral reefs. It is also home to a large variety of marine life, including dolphins, turtles, and sharks. The park is open from January to June each year. Visitors can take part in activities such as snorkeling, diving, and bird watching. There is also a research station located on the North Atoll where scientists conduct studies on the reef and its ecosystem. If you're looking for a place to enjoy the beauty of nature, the Tupataha Reefs Natural Park is a must-visit. Mount Apo, Davao Mount Apo is a volcano located in the Davao region on the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. It is the highest mountain in the Philippines, and with an elevation of 2,954 meters 9,692 feet, is also one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. The first recorded ascent to the summit was in October 1880 an expedition led by Don Joaquin Rajal. The mountain is also home to several indigenous tribes and is considered sacred by many Filipinos. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park The Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park is a protected area of the Philippines. Located about 80 kilometers north of the city of Puerto Princesa, Palawan. It was established on December 10, 1999, by President Joseph Estrada and it is the first national park in the country to be declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The park is also known as the Underground River of Puerto Princesa. The national park is famous for its underground river, which is one of the longest in the world. It is also home to a large number of bats, birds, and other wildlife. Boracay Boracay is a small island in the Philippines about 315 kilometers south of Manila. The island is known for its white sand beaches and crystal clear waters. It is also a popular destination for tourists, with over 1.5 million visitors each year. The first recorded sighting of Boracay was in 1521 by Antonio Pigafetta, a member of Ferdinand Magellan's expedition. The island was named after the local word, Boric, which means white. Boracay is a popular destination for both Filipino and foreign tourists. It is known for its beautiful beaches, clear waters, and relaxed atmosphere. There are a number of activities to enjoy on the island including swimming, sunbathing, windsurfing, and kayaking. If you're looking for a place to relax and enjoy the beauty of nature, this is a place to consider. El Nido, Palawan. El Nido is a small town in Palawan that is teeming with natural beauty. The limestone cliffs, pristine beaches, and crystal clear waters make it a popular tourist destination. It's also home to some of the most important archaeological sites in the country. The limestone cliffs were formed over millions of years. And there are over 50 beaches in El Nido. El Nido was first settled by the Tagbanua people, one of the oldest ethnic groups in the Philippines. The name, El Nido, means, the nest, in Spanish. It was declared a national park in 2016 and is home to many endangered species of animals. Tal Volcano, Batangas. Tal Volcano is a complex volcano located in the province of Batangas, in the Philippines. It is the second most active volcano in the country, with over 30 eruptions recorded. 
The volcano has a summit elevation of 311 meters above sea level, and it is surrounded by Tall Lake. The volcano is considered to be a decade volcano because of its high level of activity and the potential for future eruptions. It is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the Philippines, and it is included in the decade volcanoes list. Tall Volcano is a popular tourist destination because of its scenic views. Visitors can hike to the crater lake or take a boat ride around the volcano. There are also several resorts and hotels located near the volcano. Discovering Famous Landmarks in the Philippines If you're looking for a place to experience the beauty of nature and the history and culture of the Philippines, look no further than its famous landmarks. These Philippines landmarks can serve as a gateway to discovering everything that the country has to offer. From beautiful beaches to ancient archaeological sites, there is something for everyone in this amazing country. That wraps up our incredible adventure through the Philippines' famous landmarks. From stunning natural wonders to architectural marvels, this country has it all. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour and were inspired to add these landmarks to your own wonder list. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to My Wonder List for more exciting explorations around the world. Until next time, keep exploring and embracing the wonders of our planet.